This is the most important and crucial period of your lives for what you do now and what you decide now at this age may well determine which way your life shall go. And the question is whether you have a proper, a solid, and a sound blueprint. And I want to suggest some of the things that should be in your life's blueprint. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodyness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. Secondly, in your life's blueprint, you must have, as a basic principle, the determination to achieve excellence in your various fields of endeavor. You're going to be deciding as the days and the years unfold what you will do in life, what your life's work will be. Once you discover what it will be, set out to do it, and to do it well. Be a bush if you can't be a tree. If you can't be a highway, just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. For it isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. And finally, in your life's blueprint, must be a commitment to the eternal principles of beauty, love, and justice. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of green, for purple mountain majesty. I want to welcome you to the 2020 graduation ceremony for Calaveras High School. I'm Principal 
Mike Tambini. This ceremony marks a very significant milestone in the lives of our 176 seniors. This is an important event for family and friends who have nurtured and supported these young people. It is equally important event for the teachers and staff who've helped to educate, counsel, and support them along this journey. Finally, today's ceremony is a focus of hope and pride for the entire Calveras community. It is a visible symbol of optimism we hold for our future. I have one quote I would like to share with you. It was given to me by my father and has stayed with me for my entire life. Whatever job you do, do it right or don't do it at all. Hey, so congratulations, uh, class of 2020. Uh, make to this part of your life, this significant moment uh, in your life. You know, all too often we'll tell you at this point in time to go out and, and change the world, but I think the reality is, is that you have changed the world. You, your, your words, uh, your actions within your, your family, your friends, your classmates, your school, your community have changed the world for others. And so by extension, you have changed the world. And, and that's a very impressive thing to be able to say, especially in these times with all that we're dealing with you know, the power of your voice is, is, is going to be so important moving forward. And your response to things out of your control will especially uh, be important moving forward. COVID-19, it was a huge punch in the face for, for you and for everybody. Uh, and it, you didn't see it coming, you can't control it, uh, but you can control your response to it. And, and my hope, my, my deep hope, is, is that you're able to dig down and, and find resilience and find strength. Find some positivity. Find some way to move yourself forward through this uh, the best way that you can. That defines you. Your response defines you. And yeah, it's hard. Uh, and, and what you lost the last three months, these life moments that, that you lost, are, are extremely, extremely sad for, for all of us to, to grapple with, and for you especially. But it doesn't have to define you. Your response will define you. And so as you move forward and you continue to change your world and change the world of others, well, my only hope is that you've learned from this, you've grown from this, it's a life lesson that you take moving forward, and, and you go out and, and you do what you've done for us. And I can't thank you enough for what you've done for our school, for our district, by your presence, by your words, and, and by your actions. You've made us better, you've changed our world, and I wish you the very best in life moving forward as you go out to continue to change the world. Thank you, Class of 2020. Hello, I'm Terry Tanner, and I run the College and Career Center here at Calaveras High School. It's my great pleasure to recognize our top senior volunteer for the Calaveras Civic Engagement Program. CHS would like to congratulate Jade Kesterson for being named our Civic Engagement Top Volunteer. Jade has been actively engaged in our community for almost 2,800 hours during high school. She has participated in various community events, including being active in her church, working with the CHS wrestling team, and serving as an intern in our medical science program with a local ambulance company. Jade plans to attend Columbia College this fall to finish her associate's degree, of which she has already earned a substantial number of units by taking college classes all four years of high school. She plans to transfer to a four-year college and pursue a career serving her community in the future. We congratulate Jade on a job well done. We also congratulate all our seniors who took part in the Calaveras Civic Engagement Program while in high school. We encourage you to continue the spirit of volunteerism no matter where life takes you. Once again, thank you to all the Calaveras Civic Engagement students and congratulations to the class of 2020. Good evening, class of 2020. My name is Jade Hudson and I am the senior rally representative. 1,418 days ago, we stepped onto this campus for the first time as high school students. I can assure you all that we will be walking off this campus tonight as completely different people than we walked in as. Today is a big day. It is a day we have talked about our whole lives. A day we have all been so excited to finally experience. So before I continue, I would like to congratulate you all, including myself, for being here today. Despite all the odds, we still managed to be here graduating. But let's talk about how we got through one of the scariest years of high school, freshman year. 
Our first day of high school, we walked onto this campus timid and lost. We didn't know where we should sit. We scattered around campus to find our friends and we really didn't know what we were doing. But soon after we got used to high school, we realized some things, I'll name a few. This campus is not nearly as big as it seemed on the first day. Seniors were not as scary as they looked and four years of high school is definitely not as long as it seems. High school is the perfect example of the cliche saying, time flies. It seems like not that long ago we were strangers on this new campus awaiting our first rally. I feel like the rotation rally is in some way an initiation to high school because I'm sure we can all remember how cool it felt to rise up from the dirty gym floor and rotate to our spot as freshmen. We finally felt like we belonged despite the fact we were not hazed as other freshmen over the past years, but I can't say we were complaining. And soon after we walked uptown for the first time during homecoming, Though we could barely see or hear anything, it was one of the best experiences of the year. One of the hardest parts of our freshman year was the fact that we were the first class that never got to represent our mascot. Though our first year of high school consisted of some disappointments, it was up to us to make the best of it and leave a legacy behind for future classes of the timid and lost freshmen. Though we lost our mascot, we created a new identity at Calaveras and we will always carry that spirit and demeanor with us. Now, once again, I'd like to congratulate you all for receiving your diplomas. And as Green Day once said, I hope you all had the time of your lives. Thank you. Hi, my name is Keely Kep, and I'm the ASB Secretary and Treasurer at Calaveras High School. Although we couldn't finish our senior year together, we made many memories throughout our years at Calaveras, and I'd have to say our sophomore year is one we may never forget. As we rotated our way one spot closer to the other side at the rotation rally, we were so excited that the time had come that we would no longer be the freshies. We got to enjoy another week of fun activities and dress up days during homecoming. We watched our football team bring home the bell once again, and of course enjoyed a blowout against Bret Hart during the Grateful Red game with a final score of 78 to 25. Worldwide, we watched the biggest comeback in Super Bowl history as the New England Patriots beat the Atlanta Falcons and saw many media reports of the NFL players remaining kneeled during the national anthem. The Las Vegas shooting affected many lives and Hurricane Harvey hit Texas harder than ever. Although we got to enjoy many things our sophomore year, we also suffered a huge loss. We lost a very bubbly and energetic classmate whom everyone loved, Joe Kelly. As memories on Snapchat and Instagram continue to pop up, there is one thing that we will always remember about Joe, and that's its huge smile that you can see from a mile away. I know he's watching over all of us today as we move on to a new journey in our life, wherever that may take us. As I stand here today on behalf of the class of 2020, I want to say thank you to all of the teachers, staff, coaches, counselors, friends, and families that have helped us to get to where we are today. To my fellow classmates, good luck in your future endeavors, and thank you for a memorable 13 years in this small place we are blessed to call home. Congrats to the class of 2020. Thank you. Hi, my name is Nikki Bell and I am the ASB Rally Commissioner here at Calaveras High School. As the 2018 summer came to an end, we were all excited to finally be upperclassmen, finally rotating to the other side of the gym, getting to go to prom and sit up front at the sports games were just some of the things that we were looking forward to. In the fall, our football team had a great season, bringing home the bell for the 19th year in a row with a final score of 47-27. In addition to a great football season, our varsity volleyball team handed the Sonora Wildcats their first loss since joining our league, winning three consecutive sets. Later on in the spring, our track team won the Motherwell League title and the boys varsity team continued their season and won sections. The wrestling team brought home their 23rd blue banner that year. As the year went on, we found ourselves dancing the night away at our winter formal winter wonderland and then again when we spent a night under the stars at Ironstone. We said goodbye to Mr. Salter and Mrs. Lavaroni when they retired and commemorated them by participating in Spirit Days. In the year 2018, movies such as Us, Mamma Mia 2, and Black Panther premiered for the first time and we watched the Avengers battle Thanos in Endgame. We listened to Mason Ramsey yodel in Walmart a hundred times, if not more, and got out of our cars and danced along to Drake's hit, In My Feelings, and hit the world constantly. In April, we watched his fire rage in the Notre Dame de Paris in France, which thankfully will be able to be rebuilt. Junior year came and went faster than any other year, which was good because it was one of the most challenging for all of us, no doubt. Over summer, we waited for our AP stores to come out, looked at colleges, and on our free time, we watched TikToks. With only one year left of high school, we all dreaded that last first day. 
Although we don't get to finish our senior year together, we are all together in spirit. Thank you to all of my family, teachers, coaches, classmates, and friends who made these past four years so memorable. We are the best you'll ever see. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is while you view this. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ryan Moyer, and I'm the president of the graduating class of 2020. Our senior year was really something, wasn't it? This year began with us emerging as the new alpha dogs, claiming a sense of leadership that's almost a rite of passage when becoming a senior. At our annual rotation rally, we found ourselves opposite of where we were four years ago. From the inexperienced children we were then, to the slightly less inexperienced children just four years older. To accompany our cars, many of us got to express our creativity by painting our own parking spots. Even with the unbearable heat of that parking lot, we still came together as friends, shared laughs, ideas, and great memories. Our senior year did contain some great memories, many involving our phenomenal athletes in their respective sports, our stellar theater program and all of its talented members, our amazing music program, along with the dedicated staff and faculty. As seniors, we helped develop a positive school-wide initiative called Pride and strive to lead our campus by demonstrating personal responsibility, respect, integrity, diversity, and excellence. All of these aspects that make Calgary's High more than just a school. But I only have two minutes, and unfortunately, there is an elephant in the room that should be addressed when I talk about our senior year. For many of us, there is a piece of our lives that feel unfulfilled. The tragic outbreak of COVID-19 has left countless people around the world in disappointment as they watch the special moments of their lives slip through their fingers. And regrettably, we were among those people. There's a lot of memories I can't even include in this speech because they don't exist. Prom, our senior trip, and most of all, time. This was a challenge for all of us, and I know that this class is no stranger to facing those challenges. But as the ship roars through the howling winds of a raging storm, we will move forward. Our senior year has taught us that much. This year will not go down as a story of what could have been, but instead a testament of our unwavering resilience in the face of overwhelming adversity. We should all be very proud of ourselves. Thank you all. I'd like to take a moment to recognize all of our students who have maintained a 4.0 GPA. Hello, graduates families, friends, and faculty members, and welcome to the Calaveras High School Class of 2020 graduation. I'm Casey Cosgrove, and I will be attending the University of California, Berkeley in the fall. If there was a world where the coronavirus did not exist, I would be delivering this speech from our Frank Meyer football field. We would all be together in our caps and gowns with our families sitting together and looking down on us proudly. Although our senior year has not finished as we hoped it would, I believe that these difficult times have revealed how special and resilient our class has been and will always be. The class of 2020 has grown up surrounded by adversity. The majority of students in the 2020 class were born in 2001 or 2002, just as the events of 9-11 happened and changed American life forever. We entered elementary school just as the 2008 recession and housing market crash happened, and more than 10 million Americans lost their homes. We were in fifth grade when we had to see the horrors of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, and just sophomores when we had to practice our first active shooter drill on campus. We had just finished our freshman year when we had to learn about the tragic passing of our own classmate and friend, Joe Kelly. May he rest in peace. Finally, we were seniors when the coronavirus pandemic struck, and we were stripped of prom, senior trip, a traditional graduation, and the chance to say goodbye to so many of our friends and teachers. However, with each challenge our class has faced, we have grown and become better people. Sammy Leach and Kaylee Osborne have taken this time where the world is full of anxiety to give us music, 
with their own songs and covers being put on social media. Jade Kesterson continues her photography business, offering to take senior portraits for our class when we felt like our senior year was over. Jacob Christopher started his own small business by upcycling clothes and selling them on Instagram. All around Calaveras, kids are pushing to do more and be more. In fact, many of the essential workers for the county during this pandemic have been members of this class, such as Jason Newton, Sierra Dickey, Cheyenne Schaefer, Cameron Minosi Tini, Jayden Hufana, Jordan Harper, Alyssa Gossett, Nikki Bell, Eric Newby, Samantha Gleason, Emma Farrell, and so many others. As a class, when we face tragedy, we make ourselves and the things around us better. We create, we protest, we grow, we write, we lead, we work. That's all we've ever been taught to do, and that is what we do best. As a senior, I am sad we are going to miss out on so many quintessential moments like prom and senior trip. However, what I'm going to miss the most are my classmates and my teachers that made the experience at Calaveras so unique. I'm going to miss the cheerful, hi, how are you, from Luke Zugan that I get every time I walk by him. I'm going to miss watching Mr. Upchurch and mysticals yelling at each other and students from their respective classrooms. There will be no other feeling that matches eating at patio with your friends after school and then going to a home football game. I am so proud to be a part of the Calaveras High School Class of 2020, where I am surrounded by driven and creative individuals who inspire me to be better. I wish all the graduates the best in their future plans. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Casey. Hi, I'm Benny Hesser and welcome to the virtual graduation for the Calaveras High School Class of 2020. A quick Google search of the word valedictorian We'll leave you with a pretty cut and dry definition of the word. One website says the valedictorian is traditionally the top academic achiever who will then deliver the valedictory address. Another describes it as the highest ranked student in the class who gives a speech at graduation. If you keep digging around, you won't find much variation from that. But why does it have to be so rigid when in reality, the thing that matters most is finding happiness and success in whatever way that may be. If you were to scroll through the search results, at some point, you'll come across a site that defines valedictorian as an academic title of success. Now, simplify it down a little, take out the part about academics, and a new idea can begin. In your life, how will you acquire your own title of success? How will you become the valedictorian of your field? Now, this might be a little tough to wrap your head around, the idea of broadening the definition of valedictorian. However, in essence, it's quite simple. As each of you move through your life, find ways to excel, to better yourself, to improve your own abilities in ways that do not just benefit you, but benefit others as well. If the ultimate goal is to attain success, the objective should not be to be better than others individually. Instead, the goal should be to work together every day to collectively improve as a class, as a school, as a nation, and as a world. You should work with friends, classmates, or coworkers to use the unique perspectives and identities that every individual possesses to build knowledge that will allow each of you to have a greater positive impact on the world. If we use our new consideration of the word valedictorian, our, on our campus, there are many students that have already become valedictorians in their lives. Our campus and world would not be able to function as it is without a diverse array of people with skills and abilities that go beyond getting good grades. These select students have proven to their teachers and peers throughout their high school career that they can fit the definition of valedictorian in their own way. Michael Lumley and Christian Hill have thrived in the auto shop with their dependability, passion for auto, and desire to do things until they are done right. Emma Hahn and Nancy Lopez are standouts in the fine arts, Nancy with a quiet, respectful demeanor, and Emma with her dedication and passion, both paired with amazing artistic abilities. In mathematics, Jeremiah Moreno's perseverance and work ethic brought him from 2D to tutor, as he became his classmate's go-to for math help. Rafael Roldan embodied the word selfless and never hesitated to help a struggling classmate or ask a question simply for the joy of understanding. With her ability to see the bright side in anything, Ariel Esposito has a unique way of connecting with people 
and making them feel important and loved. Kyle Berry, Isabel Piedra, and Lydia Spinelli have each excelled musically with their diligent work ethic, talent, and passion for something that brings light and happiness to the lives of many. Chris Autry will go far with a unique combination of hands-on workability and intelligence, coupled with an entrepreneurial mindset. Shana Dole, with the effort and thought she puts into even the most simple tasks, taking pride in the smallest details. Marche Marcus and Diego Cruz have undoubtedly made CHS a better place. Marche bettering those around her with her dedication, focus, and talent. And Diego showing nothing but respect to himself, peers, and teachers, while always being the first to lend a helping hand. This short list does not even scratch the surface of students who could be recognized for possessing qualities that can make them a valedictorian in their life, because each and every one of you have brought talents, knowledge, and qualities to the table at Calaveras High School that have been essential to the success of our school and community as a whole. But these select students do provide a glimpse into the strength, work ethic, and diversity that has filled our campus for the last four years. So, now the challenge is passed to each of you. Wherever life brings you, don't settle for anything less than you deserve. Apply yourself fully, engage in debate, follow your passion, approach situations with an open mind and a desire to improve. Stand up for what you believe in, seek positive change, and become the valedictorian of your field. As a class of 2020, We've been given a title that is used to describe perfect vision. Before March, many of us had a very clear idea of what our lives and futures would look like. Now, after months of distance learning, lockdown, and uncertainty, the vision we had of our future may be slightly blurred. It is true, we've lost many things that in a normal year, seniors would experience. But as the class of 2020, it is time to look past this, take our experience and what we've learned, and not be defined by what we lost to this virus, but be defined by how we responded. With the social unrest that is occurring right at this moment, we each need to recognize that as a society, it is time for change. In each of our lives, we need to make a conscious effort to be more accepting, compassionate, and kind to everyone around us, no matter the color of their skin, their line of work, their political stance, or their economic status. Without each other, we are nothing. Each of you possess unique qualities and skills that need to be expressed and fostered for our society to be successful. It is our duty to shape a future in which we are working collaboratively to develop and harness new technologies, renew best practices from the past, and embrace the diverse perspectives of everyone around us to find sustainable solutions to challenges we face. As with most things worthwhile in life, this will not be easy. But if we embrace challenges and are resilient, tap into the best qualities that we each possess, support each other no matter the circumstances, and have a clear vision of what we want to achieve, we will, we will find, find success, success. Together. 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 Kyle Ernest 
Joshua Isaiah Badillo. Nikki Marie Bell. Andrew Brian Sully, Brian Keith Chavez, Jacob Christopher, Scott Allen Considine, Hello.
Christian Lee Hill. Rebecca Rose Hogan. Emma Sue Hogan. Woo! Michaela Rose Hawkins. Woo! Nancy Lizette Lopez.
Jacob James Marshall. Celeste Love Martinez. Robin Reguilion, Paola Rentero.
Liliana Saray Solis Johnson. Kendra Renee Tamati. Richard Donald Storer. Henry Thompson. Maya Desiree 
Christian Allen Erickson. Sierra May Fisher. Ronald James Holloway. Angelique Serena Ella Sundley. Sean Daniel David Mance. Amanda Casillas. This milestone in life we've achieved together. Superintendent Campbell and the Calaveras Unified School District Board, it is my privilege and honor to recommend you the class of 2020 has met all of the requirements of the state of California and the Calaveras Unified School District for their high school diploma. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations, alumni. Conquer the world and make the Calaveras community proud.
told me, babe Someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the band I was thinking about the fans We were underground Loading merch in that 12 passenger van In a small club in Minnesota And the snow outside of first half I just wanted my name in the star Now look at where we at Still growing up Still growing up I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become Couldn't wait to get older Couldn't wait to be some Now that I'm here Wishing I was still young Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought and felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out And falling in love Me, you and that futon We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Those good old days I wish somebody would've told me, babe That someday these would be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Cause someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of the good old days Never thought we'd get old Maybe we're still young Maybe you always look back and think it was better than it was Maybe these are the moments, maybe I've been missing what it's about Been scared of the future, thinking about the past While missing out on now, we've come so far I guess I'm proud And I ain't worried about the wrinkles around my smile I got some scars, I've been around I felt some pain, I've seen some things, but I'm here now Those good old things you don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes oh, oh, oh. till it's gone. Oh, oh, oh. You don't know oh, oh, oh. what you got oh, oh, oh. till it goes oh, oh, oh. till it's gone. I'm taking 
sometimes might knock me down, but no, I'm not breaking. I may not know it, but these are the moments that I'm gonna remember most. Yeah, just gotta keep going. You did it! Hey you guys, congratulations. You guys are awesome. You guys worked super hard. I'm very proud of you all. Good luck in the future. 2020 seniors, congratulations. Hi seniors, it's Mrs. Tanner here. I just wanted to let you know how incredibly proud I am of you and how grateful I am to have been able to work with you all this year. You guys are awesome. I know you're going to go on and do great things out there in the world. We're going to miss you, but please know that you're always going to be a part of the Calaveras Pipe family and that we love you. Best wishes, guys.
Congratulations, class of 2020. It's been an awesome year, and I'm thankful to be a part of your lives. Uh, congratulations, and never stop believing in yourself. Uh, every successful person is not necessarily talented or special, but they believe in themselves, and we believe in you. Congrats. Congratulations, CHS class of 2020. Now go do amazing things. Oh, congratulations to the class of 2020. The class of 2020, the world will never be the same. You guys got this. Hello, class of 2020. This is Mr. Tambini. Go out there and show the world your Calaveras pride and shine like a diamond. Uh, Calaveras class of 2020, I want to tell you that we appreciate you and we wish you guys the best and hopefully you guys will have uh, some success as you move on into your future. Thank you for being Calaveras graduates. And don't forget where you came from. Congratulations, class of 2020, on uh, graduating. Uh, if you can overcome the difficulties you had doing this, you can overcome anything. Great job. Hello, class of 2020. Have yourself an awesome summer and congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys are amazing. Congratulations, seniors. I can't say enough how proud I am of all of you. This year was far from ideal. There were challenges that nobody anticipated and plans that didn't come through. And I'm sure it wasn't the way you imagined it, but you did it, you persevered, and you graduated. So good job, well done. I, I am proud. I uh, hope you all know how much uh, you are loved and you will be missed. Remember, you're always part of the Calaveras family. So uh, come and say hi whenever you want. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Hey, class of 2020. Congratulations. To the volleyball seniors, I loved working with you this year. To my four that I worked so closely with, I'm so proud of you guys. You did it. Congratulations, you guys. Class of 2020 did a great job. Congratulations! Class of 2020, you're unique, you're the best. Move on, move forward. So proud of you all. All right, hey seniors, congratulations. Go get them in life, go get them down the road. Have some fun, enjoy it. We'll talk to you soon, hopefully. 2020, congratulations, you made it. Hi, Calaveras High School seniors, I'm super proud of you. Now go out there and change the world. Congratulations, class of 2020. It has been such an honor knowing so many of you since kindergarten and even before and seeing you all grow up into such amazing young people. Um, I look forward to seeing what you all do in this world as you go out and continue to build healthy, caring communities through respect, compassion, encouragement, and opportunity. Godspeed.